Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Now normally, uh, when you see me sitting down to do a tasting, I used to have several bottles in front of me. Today, I just have one, and that's because it is a very special bottle. And it is a very special bottle of, hang on a moment, <clears throat> fruit derived alcoholic beverage from produce sourced outside the European Union. Yes, that's what this wine has to be called. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to call it a wine, I'm supposed to call it a blah 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 blah, all that lot. What it is, um, they have this thing uh, that, that, that I think Wines of Argentina started it in 2011, and they decided that they were going to have uh, World Malbec Day. Well, it says on the bottle of here, World Malbec Day. It's actually called Malbec World Day. I have no idea why, but what happened? There's a, a, a vineyard in Argentina, um, which belongs, I think it belongs to the, the gaucho chain of restaurants in the UK. Uh, they thought, well, wouldn't it be a good idea to actually make a ship some of the grapes from Argentina over to England and um, send them to the Chapel Down Winery and they could make their very own version of Malbec no, because Malbec doesn't really find itself suited to the English climate. So that's what they did and they thought great for the next Malbec World Stroke World Malbec Day um, in 2012 we'll be able to have a very own English Malbec. But the European Union bureaucrats decided not only could they not uh, label it as a Malbec, uh, they couldn't label it as a wine, so hence this thing. That's what it says on the front. You can, you've seen the label. World Malbec Day, an English salute, 17th of April 2012. Publicity use only, not for sale. But it's for tasting, so let's taste it and see where we get to. So, uh, yes, it, it can't, they haven't even put a vintage on here, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's as I say, these grapes that were air freighted over to, to England last year. And, um, anyway, let's give it a whirl. Well, first thing I notice is this, the appearance of it. Some Malbecs that uh, are made in Argentina, uh, they're, they're not so much red wine as black wines. You can, um, some, some people describe them as wines you can walk a mouse over. This one, um, and, and it, it said on uh, some of the blurb that the, the winemaker had fermented it at cooler temperatures than normal. And certainly there's a freshness and life here, which I associate much more with a European style wine than with a... Um, well, with the style that has become traditional in Argentina over the last uh, 20 years, if that makes sense. But yes, there's a fresh cherry bounciness about it. It's got the Malbec uh, fragrance. It's got that little bit of violets. It's 14% alcohol, but it doesn't come across as that. It comes across as being actually quite a light, friendly, almost Beaujolais wine. It smells good. Then when you come to taste it, um, it's got this bright fruit. Yes, it's got it's quite powerful, I think 14% alcohol. So you notice that warmth and that heat, but still there is this bright freshness. It's a style that um, uh, I think that, uh, that, well, certainly the Americans won't understand it because it's uh, probably a bit too subtle for them. Sorry, Americans. Um, but um, here, what I, it's got this freshness and vibrancy about it, which I think is missing in so many Malbecs at the moment. I really wish that people would make a more of a style like this. Um, so it's got this life, it's got grip, it's got spice. Yes, it's got this warmth, it's got the berry flavours. But um, uh, uh, it's the best uh, English Malbec I've tried, even though it's not proper English Malbec. Uh, and I really wish some people in Argentina would make some more wine like this. Refreshing, gutsy, earthy, but almost chillable, very gluggable. Um, so, uh, yes, it, I, I'll be honest, it's not the 17th of April yet here in England. It's, the, it's actually the 13th, is it? Or 12th or the 13th, as I'm filming this. But... Um, uh, I'll be quaffing this. It's a really, it's a quaffing wine. I want to quaff quite a lot of this and I'll be doing that tonight, going out for dinner, not sure what we're going to have to eat, but uh, I, I'll, I'm sure I'll find something that will go perfectly with this. So, well done Chapel Down, well done Gaucho Restaurants and European Union, go and have a taste of this. It's a nice wine. Find a category for it. And so the next time it's Malbec World Stroke, World Malbec Day, then maybe it can celebrate it in true fashion on the front label. I'll stop ranting now and I'll go away and have a full glass of it. See you soon.